Hello, this is Lisa with Quilting Block of the Month Facebook group. The first block for April is the Susanna. It is made up of 12 three and a half inch squares and four three and a half inch half square triangles. It's a very simple block and I'm going to show you a little different technique today on how to create your four half square triangles. If you're making a lot of half square triangles in the same color scheme, you can get these rolls. It's called triangles on a roll. This one here is a three inch finished block, um, three and a half inch unfinished. It's basically just this long roll of paper. You cut off the quantity that you need, and there's, each row has four. So we're going to work on ours today. We only need four. So I've gone ahead and I've cut us a strip of four. But basically, all we're going to do is you follow the dotted lines and you stitch down the dotted lines on both sides and then we'll cut on the solid line and we'll end up with four half square triangles. So to do this, make this block. The first thing we need to do, get our pieces. I'm changing the colors a little bit over what we've got here. So I'm going to make this blue, it's going to be, teal's going to be purple. The pink, I'm going to make it into yellow, and I'm going to leave the white as it is, just to give a different look. So, we're going to need four of the three colors in three and a half inch squares. Those are simple. Then, to do the paper piecing here, the paper cutting, you're going to need two squares that are going to be eight and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. They don't have to be exact. As you can see, my white's a little miscut. Because you're just going to line them up here. So I get them lined up here. Right sides together. Then you're going to put your paper on top. Just want to make sure that the fabric, both top and bottom, comes out on both sides. Grab a couple pins and just secure it down. Don't have to be real secure. Just make sure you stay out of your lines for your stitching, the dotted lines. So let's. Okay, we're here at the machine, and as you can see, I've got my foot lined up so that I can start stitching right along that dotted line. And I just start off a little bit off to the edge and just stitch straight down the dotted line. And come up. I'm going to turn around here, and I'm going to stitch down this dotted line here to make sure my paper stays flat. This way here and start stitching. And then just oops. And then just start stitching down this last line here. And I've gone ahead and stitched it in purple so that you could see the stitching there. You would just want to do it in the same color as your thread fabric. And you can see I've just gone down. Now, I did switch partway through my stitching to make my stitches a little bit smaller. And on my machine that is stitching it here, making the stitches smaller, it just makes it where when you tear the paper off, it is a lot easier to remove. Okay, now that we've got this done, stitched, just remove your pins and take them out of your way. And now you are going to simply, using your rotary cutter and your ruler, line up your edges to the solid line of your ruler, and then you're just going to cut it. So you're going to cut all four outsides. And you do this if you were doing four, one little row here, or if you were doing a whole length of the fabric. Now what you're going to do, you've got two way, options to do. First thing, just go ahead and cut the middle. 
Make sure that you're lining up straight so your line squares are correct. Cut it in half. And then we're going to cut this solid line down the middle here. On both of these. So now we've got four half square triangles here. You can see the stitching again. And then you're just going to press them open, trim off your dog ears, and you, then you can go ahead and remove your paper. Just simply fold it back a little bit and then just gently remove it so that you don't pull your seams out. If you loosen up your seams a little bit like I did, you can just jump back on your machine and just add a couple stitches to close it. These two stitches will be inside the seam so they won't make a difference. Okay, now that you've got it all them pressed open, as I said, make sure that you go ahead and clip off your dog ears here. Just makes it less bulky when you're putting it together. So now you've got all your pieces together. So you got your four half square triangles. You've got all your three and a half inch squares. So Okay, I started sewing and I sewed the first row together and I did these in two groups and I'll show you why. I sewed all these two pieces together down here and I left them attached to chain piecing. Then I did these two pieces and I did the same thing and I chain pieced them. And then when I open up, this helps me reduce making oops by putting in a row upside down or backwards. And so you can sew them together however you want. This is my chain piecing. I lay it out. Make sure that I'm white, yellow, purple, white, white, yellow, purple, white, white, yellow, purple, white around. Squares in the middle are the same. And I'm basically going to throw this over here. And then I'm going to sew these pieces right here together. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewn a quarter inch seam down, attaching the two rows together. Now I open it up to make sure that again, one last check, since they're all attached, as long as you've got them laid out here, they should come together. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press your seams so that you're their opposite. One is in, one is out, so that you can nest your seams. And then just press them out. Okay, as you can see, I've pressed the seam one way, this one out, this one in, this one out, and I did it on all, all the rows. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over, and you're just going to sew the top row, nesting those two seams, and these two seams, and these seams here. And if you sew that row, then you can go ahead in the same avenue, and you can go ahead and do this row as well. Pin them all together, nesting them. And then you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance on both of these. Okay, so I've got them stitched a quarter of an inch on both the, those two seams. So you can open it up. You can press it now if you want, or you can wait since none of the seams are crisscrossing. You're simply going to flip this over here. And again, you're going to match up. Nest these seams here. All the way across. Then you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance down that and then press it open. Okay, and now just as you see, I did the seam allowance of a quarter of an inch down, attaching them all together, and I've got them all, and then I pressed them out. When you press your seams, it really doesn't matter which way you press these seams, you can open them up or not. If you are going to make multiples of this block and you're wanting to make a whole quilt of them, you would just want to make sure that you can nest these seams. So those are both going the same direction. So if you could find two that were going opposites, so that when you put them together, you could nest them together to reduce your bulk. That's the only time you'd really need to worry about it is on how you're going to nest them together. So here's two different layouts of the same block, given a little bit different look with the different colors. So this is Susanna, our April's first block of the month.